All right, so real quick, um, I saw the news last night that the Jaguars hired Jay Gruden. Well, actually, it became official this morning that Jay Gruden um, is now the Jaguars' new offense coordinator. How do I feel about this? I feel this is one of the best possible hires we could have made, being completely honest. You know, between him, I mean, we had him, Scott Lenahan, Ben McAdoo, um, let's see, other guy, uh, Jim Caldwell. We had all these other guys in. I think, I think he's probably one of the best ones we could have made. And I know people are going to talk about, um, but, um, I know people are going to talk about, um, this last year in Washington, to be completely honest, one, I don't think, I don't think a lot of that was his fault, mainly because Dan shot or Dan, Jesus, Dan Snyder and, um, uh, Bruce Campbell are fucking idiots and just the personnel turnover there. I don't think there's really much he could have done to succeed there. And, um, Mainly, you got to look at his bo his body of work as an offensive coordinator, not a head coach, because it doesn't always work. Because great coordinator doesn't always mean great head coach. I mean, you look at Gus Bradley. Gus Bradley, what? And I know Jaguars fans are going to hate hearing that name, but if you really look at it, Gus Bradley's a horrible head coach. Well, was a horrible head coach with us, but every single place he's been a defensive coordinator, he's succeeded. Like. He's been a very good defensive coordinator, so you can't look at so you can't look at um you got to look at his coordinator work so, more than his head coaching work, which head coach honestly he other than last year it wasn't that bad. I mean this guy avoided a I mean you look at it last uh, in 2018 he avoided a double digit loss season with uh, Josh fucking Johnson as his quarterback, a guy who I think is getting ready to play in the XFL right now. And, you know, he got the team to the playoffs one year. So, even as head coach, it wasn't that bad, but he was a very good offensive coordinator. I mean, I mean, some of Andy Dalton and A.J. Green's best years were with um, Jay Gruden as the offensive coordinator. So, I think with what we've got here and what he could possibly bring, I think this is a very good hire. Now, as far as because I know this has kind of been brought up and, you know, I said it in a previous video when we're on a search for a coordinator that, you know, it could possibly be the guy that replaces Doug Marone. Now, do I think it could work? Do I think it could work here if that happens? Possibly. Because I did, because I think, um, Keenan McCardell's that next guy that's probably going to, um, take over as an offensive coordinator, if not here somewhere else. So, um, I think they could be grooming him for that, but, um, I do think in order for him to succeed as a head coach here, we'd have to get rid of Todd Wash. Like he needs somebody that knows the defense running the defense. Cause Todd Wash is a fucking idiot. And I don't know why he's still here. Like, I don't understand why he hasn't been fired yet. I don't know what the hell they're waiting for, but I don't know. I just hope that happens soon. But, um, and like I said, with Jay Gruden being here, you know, like I said, some of A.J. Green and Andy Dalton's best years were with him as offensive coordinator. Like, he's had top 10 offenses in Cincinnati. That's, like, really the last time Cincinnati's has had an offense to speak of. I think part of the reason Marvin Lewis lasted so long there is because of Jay Gruden. And that's kind of crazy to think about. And also the possibilities of, you know, bringing people in that he's familiar with. You know, this has got me thinking, guys like, you know, guys like A.J. Green or uh, Tyler Eifert, who really could fit here. You know, they're at their end of their contracts, and um, they could possibly, they, you know, they could possibly make the move here. Now, are they what they once were in Cincinnati? No, but... You look at a J AJ Green coming here wouldn't have to do everything himself. We got DJ Ch we got DJ Chark. He really would have to um just be another reliable target for Minshew. I think adding those two elements, especially you know guys that are that Jay Gruden's familiar with, really could get a huge boost to our offense and 
really help Gardner Minshew take that next step. I don't think they'd be too expensive to get. And um of course and of course, you know, this is just, and of course, you know, there there's nothing to this. It probably won't happen. This is just me suggesting shit. But just imagine that. That would be really fucking awesome if, you know, Jay Gruden could get those guys here. Even if we and if we somehow move on from the Foles contract, Andy Dalton's probably going to get cut because I think, you know, between Tyler Eifert, A.J. Green, and Andy Dalton, Cincinnati, I think, is pretty much done with all of them. They're ready to just, you know, get uh, Joe Burrow and start over. And Dalton's owed $17 million this year. Then, you know, they can cut him and not have to pay him any of that. So I think that's probably what's going to happen. So, um... If we move on from the Foles contract, it would probably be kind of cheap to get him here. And, you know, as a good backup plan to Andy Dal- to, uh if uh, Gardner Minshew, you know, kind of falls off a cliff, which I don't think he's going to. But, you know, I think it would be good to have some reputable backup here that could work, especially someone that's familiar with uh, Jay Gruden's offense. So, um, you know, those are all possibilities. And we do need a tight, and we do need a tight end because, um, you know, James O'Shaughnessy showed flashes, but I don't know if he but I don't know if he's gonna be back from an ACL at full strength that as our number one tight end. We don't know what the fuck we have in Josh Oliver since, you know, he was only healthy enough to catch three passes for us. So I think someone like Eifert really could help out a lot. But um I think getting those two guys, those should be the, really the biggest splashes we make in free agency. I think mainly this draft should be focused on, you know, fixing the defense, in particular stopping the run. So, um, I'd say, so yeah, I'd say, um, you know, going after somebody like Green or Eifert in free agency, that would, I think that would benefit us a lot better than, you know, doing anything else and uh, using this draft mainly to fix our defense. But um, anyway, that's all I got, man. Um, Jay Gruden's the new offense coordinator for Jacksonville. Um, good shit. Happy fo- happy about it. Um, we'll see how it goes the rest of this year. Hopefully, um, we make b- make better steps this year and um, get this fucking team back to where it needs to be. And please, for the love of fucking God, fire Todd Wash, because I'm really getting sick of this shit. All right, that's all I got, guys. I'm out.